Hello YouTube viewers and random Robot Wars fans. Today for your lovely selves I'll be reviewing the Robot Wars competitor robot Razor Toy. And here it is in its wonderful packaging. Uh, let me just bring it forward and take a look see here. That's uh, the toy in its packaging with uh, three barrels and a stunt ramp. It says across the top Championship Robots Razor with extreme attacking action with ramp and barrels and of course it's little Trademark there as well, the crushing claw across the front, BBC logo. Uh, take a look around the back here. There it is with, well, on display. It also has its own little statistic uh, card up at the top here with its weight and so forth. Also a little advert down at the bottom for all the other toys available in the range, including Sir Kilowatts, Shunts, uh, Dead Metal, Hypnodisc, what have you. Also a little review or... or Image of Chaos 2, a little advert for Chaos 2, which is an old one I reviewed earlier, and also Matilda and Shunt radio controlled. So, that's it in its box. So let's take a look at it out of its box. Okay, here he is out of his box, and as you can see, he's pretty well detailed. If I take a wee pixie in here, you can see the Razor logo, which is quite nice. This is the Razor based off the Mark IV design, or Series IV design of Razor, as you can tell by the blue front wheels and the rear red wheels. It is pull back and go. Badly. <laughs> it's terrible. Well, and again, these toys are over 10 years old. And uh, this is its primary weapon, which is a nice big crushing claw. Now, in the show, this used to come down really slowly like that and crush enemies with uh, 3,000 PSI of hydraulic crush. It was once described as a part bird, part reptile machine. Uh, the wings here at the side used to come out, but I've since broken them because I'm me. Uh, you push this sort of... The button back. It kind of still works, but it's really hard to do. Uh, when you push the button on the side, it snaps down, which it didn't do in the show, but it does in this. And also, there's a little button at the front of the ramp. Now, if you show you one of his little accessories, the little barrel here. Now, if you push another robot up the ramp and hit that, the claw will come down and try to grapple it. I'll show you again. Like that. So, not like how it was in the show, but hey, well, what can you do? It's a Robot Wars toy. Personally, what I used to do myself is just have it like that and then bring it down slowly and put some pressure on the tip here in order to crush when I played with it. Uh, it comes, again, with meaningless accessories. Three random barrels, God knows why, and a ramp. So, I think I'll do a bit of an evil Knievel moment here. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely pathetic. I, again, I've, I've no idea why they've put that in there. So yeah, that's Razor for you. Built by Ian Lewis, Vincent Scott, and or Ian Lewis, Simon Scott, and Vinnie Blood. So there you go. From somewhere in the UK. Bournemouth, I think. So yeah, there you go. That's a little toy of the robot from Robot Wars. And if hopefully you liked that review. And if you did, you'll watch some of my other ones, uh, including Chaos 2 and Pussycat and Hypnodisc. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, bye bye.